In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and with your spirit. Dear friends, as we unite ourselves in this Eucharistic celebration via this live stream of the Mass, we celebrate today the memorial of Our Lady of the Rosary. And considering also this month of October as traditionally um, Rosary Month, and we pray together with our Blessed Mother, reflecting not only in the life of Jesus through the mysteries that was revealed to us, but also this great tradition of ours in the Catholic tradition, our Blessed Mother is praying for us and with us. And Jesus with us in the Eucharistic celebration, let us always strengthen our hope and our faith and the love that we have for one another in Christ Jesus. So my dear friends, let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. <clears throat> You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. It was not till 14 years had passed that I went up to Jerusalem again. I went with Barnabas and took Titus with me. I went there as the result of a revelation, and privately I lay before the leading men the good news as I proclaim it among the pagans. I did so for fear the course I was adopting or had already adopted would not be allowed. On the contrary, they recognized that I had been commissioned to preach the good news to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been commissioned to preach it to the circumcised. The same person whose action had made Peter the apostle of the circumcised had given me a similar mission to the pagans. So James, Cephas, and John these leaders, these pillars, should ha shook hands with Barnabas and me as a sign of partnership. We were to go to the pagans and they to the circumcised. The only thing they insisted on, on was that we should remember to help the poor, as indeed I was anxious to do. When Cephas came to Antioch, however, I opposed him to his face. Since he was manifestly in the wrong, his custom had been to eat with the pagans. But after certain friends of James arrived, he stopped doing this and kept away from them altogether for fear of the group that insisted on circumcision. The other Jews joined him in this pretense, and even Barnabas felt himself obliged to copy their behavior. When I saw they were not respecting the true meaning of the good news, I said to Cephas in front of everyone, in spite of being a Jew, you live like the pagans and not like the Jews, so you have no right to make the pagans copy Jewish ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. 
O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Strong is his love for us, he is faithful forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. You have received the spirit which makes us God's children, and in that spirit we call God our Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Once Jesus was in a certain place praying, when he had finished, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, Say this when you pray, Father, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive each, each one who is in debt to us, and do not put us to the test. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the important aspects, as we know, of faith is prayer. Pray, praying constantly as our communication with God and at the same time it's in the depth of prayer that we engage more in a deep relationship with God strengthening us and what a powerful prayer also that Jesus himself taught us to pray as he continuously teaching us not only in the spirit of the gospel we've heard today but also in our celebration in every liturgical celebration because Jesus is ultimately the high priest who leads us into this powerful prayer an active prayer a prayer that is the very life of our faith of our church and in our tradition also, we have devotional prayer. And one of the devotional prayer that we all treasure is the rosary. Praying with our Blessed Mother. Through her eyes, we reflect the mysteries of Christ's life as revealed to us. It's the ultimate revelation of God's love, God's life. That reflects also the truth of ourselves in which we are being led by the Spirit of God in Jesus. So much so that in the prayer context of the Rosary, we not only reflect through the eyes of the Blessed Mother the life of Christ, but also she is praying for us and with us. It's a powerful tradition that we have. So I've said in the beginning, we also have this love for the rosary. And during this month, October is traditionally known as the rosary month. And I do encourage you to Participate with us in the praying of the rosary, your private prayer, your private time. It's a powerful prayer, devotional prayer, in which we are engaged with our Blessed Mother. And we have set up uh, a series of video rosaries, which is always um, set up each day according to its mysteries in our Facebook page uh, and also in our YouTube channel. And you can browse that as a tool for you to pray the rosary.
And so let us once again rediscover the beauty, the power of prayer, and in particular also this powerful and beautiful devotional prayer of the Rosary in which our Blessed Mother is praying for us and with us. As we pray to our Father with the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of the Rosary, let us now place all our intentions. That like Mary, the Church may ponder the mystery of God's love, life and love revealed in Christ and the events of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations may turn their weapons of war and ma mass destruction into tools of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in union with Mary, we may be constant in prayer and in seeking to fulfill God's plan for our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that through Mary's motherly care, the sick and the sorrowing may find healing and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy a vision of everlasting life. And we pray especially for Pamela Chung, whose anniversary occurs about this time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for the rosary and the message of peace that Mary brings to our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you for the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received. The wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises, we are who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast day of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary, 
for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adores, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim. Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I invite you now to take this moment to pray the acts of spiritual communion for some moments of your own pers personal prayer. That just as we proclaim in the sacrament the death and resurrection of your Son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you once again for participating with us in our Eucharistic celebration on this live stream of the Mass. Join me once again tomorrow at 10 a.m. for our live streaming of the Mass as we continue to be nourished, uniting ourselves in prayer with Jesus as we continue to pray that this pandemic will end soon and that we may gather together spirit of prayer as a body of Christ together around the table of the Lord. And also, I do encourage you uh, in this during this month of the rosary to continuously nourish that prayer that devotional prayer of the rosary and to aid you to help you in this prayer we also as i've said before we've also set up some video series of the rosary through our facebook page and also through our youtube channel where each day in each mysteries we are together with our Blessed Mother, praying for us and with us 
to the life and reflecting to the life and mysteries of our Lord. And it's a powerful prayer that we together can do to continue that command of Jesus to continue to pray and hence deepen our relationship with God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.